Oh, guys, this, this is an insane Game Freak here. You know what I haven't talked about at all? Dragon Ball Z. Dragon, 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 Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> oh, we're going to talk about Resurrection F. We're going to talk about the anime. And we're going to talk about why I have no fucks to give. Um, so... Let's get into it, shall we? Alright, so let, let's start off with Resurrection F. Well, actually, no, let's start off with Dragon Ball Super because it's going to lead into things with Resurrection F anyway. So let's just start off with Dragon Ball Super. So, Dragon Ball Super's been out. It's already been confirmed that Dragon Ball Super is literally the first two-thirds of the damn anime is just going to be retellings of the two movies, which is Battle of Gods and Battle of Gods Resurrection F. Is that what the second one's called? I don't even remember. Um, so the first two arcs in the anime, the first two anime arcs, which means we're only going to get one original anime arc, which means you shouldn't even bother with this show until... Plot-wise, you shouldn't bother until at least around episode 60-something or 70. Because the other two-thirds of it is, is shit that you already know of. It'll be fleshed out a little bit, but let's be honest here. Dragon Ball Z's lore for those two episodes doesn't really mean anything. There aren't many things in Dragon Ball Z Battle Gods or Resur especially Resurrection F that was worth really fucking talking about. Because all it's going to lead in, because we already know what happens. Like, that's like the most boring part of watching in a, a movie adaptation, which is just retelling the first arc of the damn anime. That's why movie 8 and movie 9 are like fuck em movies in For One Piece. Because they're literally movies that just retell the Alabasta and the Chop arc, respectively. Granted, the Chop arc had the added of, oh, look, Frankie and Robin are here, which really didn't mean any fucking thing. And we have Wobble's older brother, Mushu. Which doesn't mean any fucking thing, but there it is. You have it. It's the same shit. It's just it's a fucking. It. It's a lazy ass. It's just lazy. It's like we're gonna just put in all. It's like you're watching a filler version. It's like like Battle of Gods is is the cut clean version, and like the anime will be the filler version, which is not interesting at all, because all of, each of these arcs will only last about thirty some episodes. If it's even, if it's not even, they'll last like 40 or 50 episodes, 40 episodes, and the fun arc will only be like 20 episodes. Because fuck you, that's why. Um, I have made no qualms into saying that I prefer One Piece over Dragon Ball Z. Uh, particularly because Dragon Ball Z suffers from what I view as one of the most annoying things you can do in anime, which is an adding a whole bunch of characters and stop using them. Uh, at, at a certain point, I think it was really prevalent probably in the Boo Saga. That's why I honestly think Dragon Ball Z ended where it should have, because Dragon Ball Z, by the end of Dragon Ball Z, it was getting really evident that we were going to get into territory that I didn't want to see. The territory that is, is that, because the Boo Saga almost explicitly told me that nobody fucking matters, only Goku matters. Goku and maybe Vegeta on a good day matter. And that's like the part of Dragon Ball Z I don't fucking care about. Is just the Goku and Vegeta shit. Fuck that. I want, like, everybody. And the Boo Saga was the beginning of that saga to tell me that's not important anymore. And so when I watched Battle of Gods and Resurrection F, I saw those movies and went, yeah, that's exactly what I figured it was going to go to. Where everybody else was a fuck boy or a fuck girl, and it was all about fucking Goku. Goku and maybe fucking Vegeta. Because if you, I knew... Just looking at the end of Z, you could tell that it was going to go into some bullshit if you kept going. And looking at the two movies, that's, they went into some bullshit. Now, let me explain something. I'm not saying those movies are bad. Those movies are not bad. Let, let me get this straight. When I say that, I don't mean that the movies are bad. I mean it's, it's not interesting to me. Those movies are probably some of the better Dragon Ball Z movies. And part of the reason is because they're more entertaining. People like that, like Dragon Ball Z movies, have been got, got here. They haven't. Fucking Dragon Ball Z's movies went from being okay to just turning into complete trash. Um, 
any Broly movie after like the first one. It, the second one, I'm sort of. The second one was like pushing it. The third one was complete bullshit. Like at a certain point, I mean, not even like. I mean, I still like the Tapion movie because of the, the continuity thing about it. But let's be honest here. The movies weren't never like high gold and quality standard shit anyway. So I was just happy that these movies have been entertaining. I I, like, I even said there's a video I posted on Facebook that like I, like Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F specifically is more of a funny movie to me, and Battle of Gods was definitely more of a funny movie to me than like an action pack. I'm so super interested in this fight shit because half of the appeal of Dragon Ball Z is gone. Half of the appeal for Dragon Ball Z as us for kids. Was is that that was the first time we were seeing badass enemy fights? Nowadays, Dragon Ball Z's fights ain't shit to me. Like almost, I could go back and look at One Piece's fights and say those are better than Dragon Ball Z fights because they probably are. Actually, I would argue they are. They're all better. I think almost every single fight. I think I think there are One Piece fights that are better than almost every single fight in Dragon Ball Z. That was like half of the appeal of Z was its fights because as anime fans, it was one of the first times we saw. High speed, like, oh my god, what's coming at you kind of fights. Like, fucking, One, One Piece to me has always had better fights. Just more interesting fights. So I'm not, like, Dragon Ball Z, so fight scenes in, in Resurrection, it's like, oh my god, look, at, look, Vegeta, Vegeta kicked that nigga in the face. Now look, D DBZ fights will always have its, its appeal. And I like DBZ fights. Still, I just don't like most of the fight. I usually only like, like, key scenes of the fight. Because those are the best parts of the fight. Or like when we get good clashes and shit. I'm not saying Dragon Ball Z fights are bad. I'm just saying for me, they've never been like super, super... They've become less appealing over the years. You know, when you give me a good knee to the chest, that shit's gonna look cool no matter who the fuck it is. It's like, you can't go back and see 18 kicking kicking Vegeta and his arms being like, ah! Like, that That just, that's a, that is a great moment. Oh, when like Gohan, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan punches Cell and stuff it. Great fucking moment, but those are like key knock you the fuck out scenes. Like just the fight as a whole, no. So that's that's the that's the first thing. Is that I'm just I'm not as interested in Dragon Ball Z in general as I used to be, partially because Dragon Ball Z's my interest in Dragon Ball Z was way more into the the all the whole encompassing story. And I'm not saying the characters aren't still being pushed, but like it's kind of obvious we're at the winding down period where everything's more about Goku and Vegeta now. And I just don't fucking care about just vote Goku and Vegeta. It's like, oh, Krillin's a cop now. The, like, Dragon Ball Z will be, like, I'm pretty sure Super will have those moments where I'll be like, I like this clip, I like this clip, and I like this clip. You ain't gonna watch an episode? Nah, I'm good. Uh, and the fact that it's a retelling of two movies I've already seen really doesn't make me interested. Because I didn't find the movies interesting on a lower perspective. I thought the movies were inter interesting from an, I think the movies are entertaining as fuck. Just, I'm not, it doesn't make me, like, the movies aren't good enough for me to watch an anime adaptation of the movie. Because I don't find the movies, like, amazing. I think the movies are, like, okay. The, the better, they're in the top, they're in the hot, they're in high tier for Dragon Ball Z movies as a movie in general, just whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, and then, let's get into the problem that a lot of people have recently had it. Which is apparently, I guess, in the anime, they just show the, the Goku versus Beerus fight, and the animation was horrible. Well, for those who don't know, Toei animates Dragon Ball Z. You know what else? Toei animates One Piece and World Trigger. Guess what? World Trigger and One Piece have bad animation, too. Uh, having an anime adaptation handled by Toei was nothing to get excited about, ever. Because Toei is pretty mediocre when it comes to anime. They can do great scenes. As a One Piece fan, I have seen them do great fucking scenes. And I'm pretty sure Dragon Ball Super will have great fucking scenes. This is not one of them. Uh, Toei is too fucking inconsistent. It's one of the reasons why I haven't been as interested in the One Piece anime. Not because I'm not interested in the story. But because fucking Toei sucks half the damn time. And it's not... Like, it's just Toei. That's a Toei issue. You can't... The ending, for God's sake, that was one I even noticed in Dragon Ball Resurrection F. There are random scenes in Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F where it goes from like anime to that, to that fucking C, that cell shaded CGI shit. And I'm like, that's a fucking movie. What are you doing? Why are you, why is this in here? And it's in random sections of the movie. And I'm like, well, 
that's probably toy for you. Like I don't think like animation wise, I don't think well that's a lie. It's it's probably good it's good like the animation for Resurrection F was pretty good. Even in Battle of Gods was pretty good considering it's Toei, because Toei is fucking terrible with consistent animation. As a One Piece fan, I know this. So, like, when I saw... But as soon as I knew Toei was animated, I was like, that's not gonna come out consistent. If it did, that means that they have no... That means they're just biased as fuck against shit that makes the money, which really wouldn't make sense, because One Piece has been making the money. And One Piece has bad and inconsistent animation, because fuck... But then again, One Piece has a weirder art style, so there was more of a justification for it. Still fucking dumb. So, Dragon Ball Super has a few things going against it for me. Uh, first thing, I'm not as interested in Dragon Ball Z. Two, I didn't give a fuck about the lore that much about Resurrection F or Battle of Gods. It's like, there are 12 universes with, like, multiple gods. Well, we've already seen that the person who's going to be handling all of this shit is probably going to be Goku and Vegeta. Those don't make as interesting characters to, like, follow. You know, if you hit through, if you gave me some Krillin, if you gave me some Gohan, shit, give me some fucking Videl. Give me some, like, give me other characters. You can't, Goku and fucking Vegeta, to me, do not interest me enough fighting because I already know how it's going to go. And it's not interesting. GT, GT at least kept the adventure style to it and understood you couldn't just have Goku run the show. Granted, to me, that one pissed me off because there was just less characters being used there. Like he's, Kira Toriyama just has a bad fucking habit lately of just not using his fucking characters. He's like, it's like, it's obvious you wanted to end the story, but you have the story progressing. So it's like, well, Gohan isn't as strong now. Krillin isn't as strong now. Piccolo isn't as strong now. You know, you got fucking... To the point where you had Tien fighting and you didn't even have Yancha or Chaozu and them niggas fighting. Like, fucking, like, we, we've just, we've gotten past that point. We're past it. We're done. Fuck it. That's why I think, to me, Cell Saga would have been the perfect saga to end it. Because it showed that they, they were moving forward and letting Gohan handle this shit. And Boo Saga, even though I like Boo Saga in certain aspects, Boo Saga was the same thing. I cared more about the comedy and fun of it all. Than I did about the goddamn, like, lore. Fuck the lore. I didn't care about the lore. Like, who the fuck cares about where Boo came from? That shit's irrelevant. <laughs> Why is it irrelevant, bro? Because that nigga was mainly used for comedy. That nigga had three fucking forms, and two of them were com. Almost all three of them were used for, like, ridiculous comedy. It was ridiculous. It was just insane. I mean, Cell was cocky. Free Freezer was condescending. Boo was playful. Childish, stupid, and just downright fucking insane. And that's the villain. That was our villain. Our threatening villain. He was threatening in power and literally like goofy and everything else. And, and Grant, those aren't negative points to say about those sagas. I just personally, there was nothing else to get me hooked into it. When you were underutilizing, when you were already admitting to me that like, look, these characters are done doing shit. Like, like, at that point, I was like, I don't care about seeing filler about Go Trunks and Gohan, Goten looking for shit. Because Trunks and Goten always have stupid filler. I saw that enough in the fucking movies. Alright? Same thing with Gohan and Videl. I don't need Gohan and Videl episodes anymore. Because they're already fucking married and Pan is born. I don't need bullshit-ass filler. When I know it's not going to progress the story, it's just filler to have the characters relevant. You know what I mean? What, a, a day of with Krillin the cop? Is, it, is that going to be a fucking filler? I'll like it for the Q18 Krillin moments. I just won't give But, like, I know it won't add to the lore. So it's not as interesting. The Dragon Ball Super being redundant by covering two arcs that the movie's already covered. And we'll probably cover it worse in some aspects. Just, I'm not interested. Uh, and the movies... Although are the are better are probably some of the best DBZ movies, and I'm glad it's selling. I'm glad that the anime movies get proven. Although it doesn't really prove too much, they need to take more of a risk. You can't just put Dragon. Oh, although Dragon Ball Z sold well, can we can we get some uh, can we get some like really good anime movies in there? Like what was it the Boy and the Beast one that comes out in Japan? The one 
It's like the one with the boy and like the beast who ends up being kind of like a father figure to him. Let that be in fucking theaters. I want that to be in fucking theaters. Let me get Cyborg 009, motherfucker. Can we get that in theaters, please? I hope this paves the way for more anime movies in, in theaters, if anything else. Because that is not the pinnacle of quality. That is just an entertaining movie. And kind of worked out because it also panders to Dragon Ball Z fans. But, uh, Super is fucking whatever. That's why I haven't been interested in watching it. And that's why I've waited so long to talk about it. Resurrection Elf, I didn't even need to see that movie. I saw that movie because my friend wanted to see that movie. And I saw the movie and I'm like, well, it's an entertaining movie. I'm not, I never, I didn't regret spending money on that movie. I just don't think it is amazing as people think. I don't think it's nowhere near as amazing as people think it is. Because it's, it's a fucking... Oh, look, it's Golden Frieza. Well, how interesting of a concept is that? The fact that you brought back Frieza of all characters wasn't even interesting anyway. And then what made it worse, and just to kind of rain on the movie for a second, it's like, oh, I trained off screen, and now I have both in... And both of your new forms are trained off screen. That's not fucking cool. We always... Everybody wants to see a new form come into, pow, come into play... Like we like to see them gain the new form, and I love and I hate I hate that the reason why and this is spoilers, so if you don't want to know the spoilers for Resurrection F, stop listening. Uh, I hate the fact that like the reason why Golden Freezer lost was something as stupid as, and it's not really it's not stupid in terms of plot. It's just stupid because it's they did they've done this before. Oh, you got the form and then came here and didn't learn how to maintain it. Well, isn't that kind of similar to what happened with fucking Trunks when he became stronger than Cell, but he couldn't fucking, but he didn't actually train long enough to, like, for it to be optimized to kick ass with when he fought, like, dude, we've seen that fucking plot line before. Also, the fact that you did the same fucking thing, where it's like, you, Vegeta deserved that fucking kill, and you took it away from him and did some contrived bullshit with Frieza blowing up the print. Which isn't something Frieza wouldn't have done anymore, and it was, and it's really, and and all, and I think the only reason why it really even came turned out that way is for a Goku has to be the one to kill him, and b fucking we had to have Goku learn his lesson about being too carefree. Although I don't think a lesson was fucking learned, but maybe maybe the set maybe the last half maybe that last third of Dragon Ball Super will have that come into play. That's just my thoughts. I just don't. I don't fucking care, man. But let me hear about Kaido some more. Like that's what I give a fuck about right now. Like Dragon Ball Z's lore means jack shit to me right now. Um, that doesn't mean it's bad. I just I'm just not interested. I've never been in, in, that interested in Dragon Ball Z's lore. I've always found I find One Piece an overall better story, in a lot of ways, just better o overall. Um, which is supposed to fucking happen. Because Dragon Ball Z is an 80s show, whereas One Piece is a 90s show. One Piece should be better. It should get better over time. So I'm not saying that to say Dragon Ball Z is terrible. I just don't give a fuck about it. Nowhere near as much because half of the appeal of Dragon Ball Z is kind of that nostalgia bullshit. And now I have to go. Life's a game. Play to win. I'll catch you guys later.